Hey everyone, this is Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to another Junk in My Trunk find. This is the um, vintage recipe packs that I have. I have two different packs here. I have the cards and then I have the vintage book packs, page packs for you guys. You're going to absolutely love both. So I figured I'll go through each with you guys. These are items that I found along my way up north to um, so I want to all the way back home kind of thing. Um, these here, I think I got these in a state cell. I, I forget which place I got these things, but hey, I got them. <laughs> these are on a list for some of you guys who had requested vintage uh, Christmas, um, vintage um, different recipes and recipe pages from vintage books. And I think I scored really big. I figured I could show you guys the books that I got these pages from and then um, show you an idea what each one of the packs kind of look like. I'll show you one random pack and then show you the fronts of the other packs as well. I made sure when I put these packs together that I did a lot of desserts as well. Cause I know Christmas is coming and you probably have a project that requires some kind of cooking kind of thing um, that is uh, Christmassy, that kind of thing. All right guys, I'm gonna jump right in here in a minute, but I wanna first, if you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. This is a crafty channel that I sell vintage crafty products to my uh, followers and those who are my new followers. That is, if you want to follow me down below is all the information to find um, Facebook, Instagram, all those things, and including my Etsy shop down below. All right, guys, jumping right in. Now, the book covers you see here are up for grabs, first come, first served. First person that orders a pack and requests one of these book covers, just message me, and I'll let you know if you are the first, second, third. Either way, I'm giving away these book covers. And the very first one is the Better Homes and Garden Cookbook Binder. This here is uh, some of the pages that are in these packs that I put in there. Um, this book here, which is the Women's Day Cookbook, uh, the Vintage Carnations book page is awesome. This one here is the 1971 Christmas Recipes, which was a really cool one as well. So pretty much I want to show you guys the book pages I took from these certain books. Um, one of my favorites too is the Amish and the uh, the Amish recipe book because one, I was in Amish um, Acres area and what's really cool is they had this really big book that had large print recipes on them and I wanted to share in these packs with you guys as well. So that being said, I'm going to put that aside. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the vintage recipe card books. These are the Better Homes, um, um, gosh, I'm trying to think of the name. I always want to say gardens, but it's the, um, the vintage uh, uh, recipe cards that you get in those big, um, gosh, my brain just went kaput, but they're perfect for your journaling. That's all I know. Um, they're like the library cards, um, but they are recipe cards. So it has a picture of the recipe in the front and it has the recipe on the back and how to kind of things. They're four and a quarter by uh, just almost seven inches, almost. But as you can see, I have my LED light on, so it's kind of throwing a light glare. But um, it's a 25 pack. They're in the shop and they're available to you. And show you an idea of what one pack would look like and what they kind of look like. Shows you what the item is that is the recipe of. And then it has the recipe behind. Isn't that awesome? So we're going to just kind of show you an idea of a pack. I made a variety of not only just desserts, but breads, salads. There's Nutty Popcorn Crunch. Bun cakes, angel cakes, fruit salads, there's the breads. So you kind of guys have an idea. Not one is the same, so it's kind of hard to list it the same, but when you see the ever, the listing for this below, it's going to be pictures of this pack. So you have an idea of knowing how to get back to it. What I love about these cards too, it does show you a description on how to do your pie plate, how to make that pretty, um, like, uh, the decor of uh, the uh, the dough. My brain today, guys. I think it's time for another coffee. All right, guys. You kind of have an idea what the pack looks like. I think it's just absolutely adorable. Again, I have 20 packs of this. There's 25 in each pack. So hopefully you guys can use that for your project. So the second thing I have, which was upon request, like I said, is the vintage recipe book pages. So what's really cool about the book page pack, um, it's a 25 I say more towards a 30 pack pages. I just kind of went a little overboard and just kind of added other things as I went. I made sure that they were full complete pages. So it's not just one page cut. 
I made sure I had it like a two page, whole page. So if you wanted to sew in or tie in your signatures, you can do that. But I try my best to make sure there's a lot of colorful pages in here along as well as just regular recipes and binder card recipes. So as you can see here, there, I don't want to open all of them, but I would say 80, 90% are either binder or they're full um, open pages kind of thing. It's here, like here, there's so many in this. Isn't that cool or what? Look at all those recipes. So we have a bunch of those and then uh, go through here. I know I had a bunch with a bunch of advertisements as well as these cards. So I did some of the um, the binder cards as well to have the tabs. I know some of you guys love those in your journals as well. These here, this here came the, for the really vintage one. It had some really cool, not only recipes, but advertisements as well. Let's see if I can find some of those advertisements for you guys. I know one had a car for 500 and something dollars. I was like, that's craziness, isn't it? Where did that one go? So this one here has got like a lot of vintage like advertisements along with the, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Maybe it's a different pack I was thinking of. So as you can see here, oh, there's the Amish ones. Like I said, they were so cool. Freezer pickles. Now that sounds good right now. So when I did it, as you can see, it's the full page. You can either tie them in or not. Some are loose, some are not. Again, more of the vintage binder recipes. I was hoping to find that, that uh, advertisement. It was so cool. It's probably in one of those packs. And then a really nice bundle of these guys. These here measure, the largest ones measure eight and a quarter by just about 11. But there's a slight gloss to it, but the pages were so beautiful. Had the best recipes. You can fold them in half. And again, I kept them whole in the whole pages. So where you guys can use them either full or not full. All right, guys, there, they're already in the shop for you. I hope I hit it on the, the nail on the head, I guess you can say, for you guys. Um, I can kind of give you an idea of what some of the packs, already pre-packs, are looking like. I did add, um, which I didn't add, I'm sorry. The reason why they're open, I've been wanting to add, hang on a sec. These, I forgot to tell you guys. These, I had extra of these. So I was going to split these amongst each and add in two of those cards. These are slightly bigger than the ones um, that are in this pack here. These were like the, um, the, the tabs to figure the selection of the recipes you wanted. I had a bunch of them. So I figured I'll put probably two in each. I should one or two in each for you guys. So I'll remember to do that when I get through here. But I just wanted to show you some of the packs and how they look. Aren't they gorgeous? All right, guys, run on over to the shop. I did hit the recipe uh, cards and uh, book pages for you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.